here outside the Francis Crick Institute, the home of many science research labs dedicated to understanding human health and developing therapies for disease. This has become possible because of our ability to sequence the human genome. But as vast amounts of data increase, how do we make sense of this data? The need for a multidisciplinary field with the ability to integrate data, analyse this data, visualise and communicate this data is needed now more than ever. Let's head back to Queen Mary University of London where we speak to Professor Conrad Besant to find out more. Over the last decade or so, there's been a lot of development of new bio biological techniques which are able to collect lots of data from biological samples. So a famous one is obviously uh, next generation sequencing, whole, whole genome sequencing, so we can now sequence somebody's genome in full really quite quickly and quite cheaply. But there's lots of other technologies that have come available as well, so high throughput proteomics, metabolomics, uh, we can look at epigenetics, uh, epigenetic changes as well. and Lots of data has been collected, and lots of data is being collected every day by labs all around the world. But the data by itself is of limited use. We need to actually do something with that data. We need to analyse that data to understand what kind of biological insights are contained within that data and make the new discoveries that we want to make. So bioinformatics is a subject which actually allows us to take that data and turn that into useful knowledge uh, and, and new discoveries that can actually push forward biology. And this involves a various range of different uh, computational techniques. So everything from kind of data storage and databases, data management in the lab, all the way through to statistics, data analysis, and visualization of results and inference of new biological findings based on the acquired data. So, Bioinformatics now is a real key part of almost all biological research. So there's lots of different uh, developments and new findings that have come out of, of uh, doing biological research using bioinformatics. So uh, it's difficult to pick out a particular, a particular single um, breakthrough, but I would say that um, one of the things which is really kind of uh, popular in bioinformatics and really important at the moment is the integration of different data types together. So, while you can get some useful information by doing things like uh, genomics by itself, for example, or genotyping, if we really want to understand biological systems in, the, in, the, in, in full, we need to be able to integrate data from, uh, for example, genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, epigenomics, all these kind of different technologies. So this, I think, is really uh, where a lot of the effort has been, been put in bioinformatics in recent years. Um, and I think that's, that's something which is really now starting to, to bear fruit and give really interesting results. So as, as somebody who runs a bioinformatics research group, uh, I would say the main challenge is finding good people who can actually do bioinformatics work. Um, it's a very multidisciplinary subject, so you need to understand the computational aspects, you need to understand the biology, you need to understand, and of course inside that is biochemistry and things like that as well. Uh, you also need to understand the statistics, a bit of maths, uh, and, and also to be able to, to co collaborate and work well with other people as well. So in bioinformatics we need to talk to biologists, we need to talk to computer scientists, we need to talk to statisticians and so on. So finding people who have these skill set, this combination of skills is really, really difficult. Um, so that's a kind of practical, a practical issue that, that we tend to find. So we're actually, um, so I started a, a, an MSc program in, bi in bioinformatics in Queen Mary so we can train more people to, to fill these roles because we're really short of people right now. So uh, I think, as I said, uh, bioinformatics is a key part of biology nowadays. So I think uh, you will find that many, if not most, of the breakthroughs that are being made in biology at the moment are using some kind of bioinformatics. So this uh, is, is really, I think, the way that bioinformatics is, is going to shape the future. That it's going to be uh, an important um, contribution in many, many different projects and it's going to help us understand better how uh, biological systems work and that's therefore going to help us to understand how we can tackle diseases, for example, with new treatments uh, and how we can also uh, consider uh, improvements in, in things like um, uh, 
agriculture and, and other areas as well. So a whole, across a whole range of areas of biology, I think bioinformatics is going to play quite a pivotal role. Thank you.